with me today, and would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? I'm Rikazi, or you could call me Weeby Swaggin. And this is a gameplay from him. Uh, he has a pretty decent channel. You should go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. And he is a very objective player, as you can see here. But his friend steals the diffuse. And he's a competitive gamer, so would you like to tell us about that? Uh, yeah, I'm on game battles, as, like, so is Chronic Cobra. Uh, my dubs partner, his name is Endeavorous, and, uh, currently we, we have a dubs team called Lequency, and, uh, yeah, and then I'm, a, I'm on a team ladder with two guys named Faison and Currency, so yeah, and they're amazing on dubs, uh, I believe they're ranked four as of right now, and yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, me and Dr. Trigger have been doing some game battles lately, too. Did we face you guys, or was that your friend? Oh, you haven't faced us yet. Uh, we played one game, and uh, we're 0-1, but we won the game. We 6-1'd uh, them, or they won, they 6-1'd us on Hanoi, and then we 6-1'd them on, I think it was Grid, and then we 6-1'd them on Tavana. Hanoi is in our map, as you can see, but yeah, uh... We freaking, um, we crushed them, so, like, but then they disputed for wrong game settings, and I checked, because it was an MLG variant game, uh, we only play MLG variant, and, uh, we did have the game settings right, but these guys had break fake proof, and I couldn't even do anything, so we got the loss, but we did crush them, and it was a really fun game to play. And it, they were a 4K and a 7K, so that proves that they have a lot of skill. But uh, they were a pretty, like, trashy team. Like, they trash-talked a lot, and, yeah, they're dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate when people do this. Yeah, like, they're rude. Like, like I don't even know. They're mean, sort of. Like, <laughs> I... I've, I'm fair. Uh, their connection, they hosted Hanoi. We probably would have at least won a couple more rounds, but we're off on Hanoi. But, like, their their host was probably the worst host on GB I've ever played on. Um, freaking, this guy, eight bullets. Um, I believe the host, I don't even remember their PSN, but, um, their host, uh, they both eight bullets on it. My, ho we, like, we hosted next game, uh, it was my host, and it was really fair because, well, I got killed a couple of times, but I did drop a really nice score, and yeah. Yeah, I was actually playing last night with Dr. Trigger, mm -hmm. and it was, we were playing Domination on Havana, and... So, do you guys do MLG variant, all game modes, or whatever? We were just doing all game modes last night. Oh, all right. We were right. playing Domination on their host. And, like, literally, we put ten bullets into them, and then the bullets started, like, registering. It was total crap. Yeah, I can't stand that host. You know you could dispute on that host, right? No. Can you do that? Yeah, were you one-barring, or...? Two-bar. Yeah, I think you could dispute that. If you go between one-bar and two-bar, you could dispute it. Wow. Like, I can't stand that crap. It's really annoying. Hey, you could fast-forward through the rest of this. The first round, because it does get really boring. Oh, all right. But, uh, freaking, yeah, I can't stand people with bad hosts. Like, play fair, use a good host, like, like don't be dicks. But if it is a bad host, like, basically what you have to do mostly is, you know, like, drop shot. Do whatever you have to do yeah. by not cheating, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, right now I'm using the FAMAS. And I know it's kind of OP, but it is. Did you pick it up or? <laughs> yeah, I picked it up. Uh, my main setup was lightweight, steady aim, and ninja uh, AK-47 extended mag. And this is one of my GB classes. Believe it or not, AK-47 on GB. Wow. Probably amazing. No, not probably. It is amazing. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and then I have frag, concussion, as usual. So. I always run those. They're always the best. But I do occasionally use Simtexes, you know. Yeah. I, I use Simtexes for domination. Yeah, it is a it is a quicker nade. Um, a lot of my, uh, I think my dubs partner switches off 
between like either one. So like it is a it's a helpful, but personally I like I'd rather like have to cook the nade and then get it off a lot faster, you know. Yeah. What do you mostly use on game battles? Famas, right? Uh, yeah, mostly the Famas, but if I have to, like, get away from it, like, if like, if I perform very bad with the Famas, I'll usually switch up. Like, I'll pull out a, um, maybe a, like, a 47, mostly, or a Commando, and I usually use the G11 on defense, on Villa. Because it is a really good map to use it, but besides that, like, maybe a 74U, I don't know. It's not even that good, but I'll use it with the grip, you know. Yeah, I like to use the G11 on Villa. Like, for those people that go on the balcony, try to get them off of there. But on the other side, I always use, uh, like, FAMAS with, like, extended mags or something. Have you ever tried using, like, without red dot? Oh, uh, yeah, I have a, another FAMAS class. It's FAMAS, extended mag, steady aim. That is a really common GB class as well. Yeah. So. Let's say I see, like, Red Dot. What do you think about this whole billionaire showdown? I heard a lot of people are stepping down, like, White Boy 7th Street and, like, Tone Star Fryer. And yeah, I can't, like, I don't know. I personally, if I got a partnership, I'd love it on my channel, but I doubt that's ever going to happen. Maybe one day, but, like, I would never do that. Like, I... I make videos and play, like, video games for fun. Like, I am competitive, but I'm not going to do it for the money. Like, I'm not like that. Eh. But I know, didn't x was one? I forgot. Yeah, x won the last one. It was hilarious because when he was playing Wings of Redemption, the second round, the girls were all over him. And it was kind of, it was hilarious. Yeah, was like, yeah, and you win, like, what, uh, 10 10 k right? Like yeah. $10,000? Yeah. I, if I had the opportunity to do it, maybe, but really, I probably wouldn't because I could care less about the money. I really, if it was for no money, then yeah, like, you get to play with all the commentators, yeah. like, have fun, but it's, like, money's on the line. I wouldn't do it unless it's, like, competitive gaming. Like, that's not competitive. It's just, like, a free-for-all, basically, you know? Yeah. So what made you decide to start up a YouTube channel? Um, I don't know. Basically, m my inspiration to me was actually um, White Boy Seventh Street and this guy La Snuggy. And I'm telling you guys, he posts game battles, gameplays, and uh, I haven't really been game battle game battling lately because, well, uh, my dubs partner. Me and him have just been playing Uncharted, and then my team ladder, uh, they haven't been on in a while, but I've gone through some bad experiences on game battles before, but I, I've always loved it, like, I like competitive stuff, because I am a very competitive person, but, like, personally, I started it because I wanted to post game battles, gameplays, and I wanted to have fun with it, like, white boy. Eh. A lot of people like and battles like Lost Nuggy, so yeah. What do you think about this new video bumping that people are doing? Uh, really, I have nothing against it. I don't know why people are complaining. I read much about it, but I did see a video about it on uh, that guy who camps this channel, and like I saw, I I I was laughing watching it. I'm like, why do you? Why would you complain about it? Is it that big of a deal to you? Like, I don't know how to do it, and I don't do it. But there's no point in doing it, really. I have no idea, really, what it is. Personally, I think it's not really that big of a deal. I don't know about you, but um, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's a big deal, but it kind of makes those like bigger commentators come out more, and all the smaller channels get pushed back. Because most people don't know how to do it, except for those big people. True. Well, I think the little commentators really do, like like you and me and a lot of people, even though your channel is much bigger than mine. Um, I think, like, I don't know, mostly, personally, I think most people that do YouTube now are doing it for the money as of now. And views and all that? Yeah. I do it, well, no, views, yeah. But, um, 
I I personally do it for my fun. Like, yeah, I I know but you like videos because well you post daily pretty much. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like doing it for the fun, like making videos. But I don't know. I wouldn't post a lot of uh, like I wouldn't post for com like money. You know. If there was an opportunity to like have a partnership and get paid, no, oh, that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, I'd I'd do that, but thing is, like, I wouldn't ask for the money constantly. I yeah, I'd do it. I wouldn't post every day just so I could get more views and make more money. You know? Yeah. Like I'd post on my own time, doing it for fun, having a good time playing video games. You know, like. Yeah. I, that's what it started out as, like the community, but I think it's the partnerships community. came out. Yeah, and Machinima. Uh, and if I had a chance to be on Machinima, hands down, I would. Yeah, me like, too. Well, like, it was, yeah, everybody would. It was nice having you here. So, see you guys. All right. All right. Thanks for having me. See ya. Peace. All right. That was a good time.